Today we will learn tool which will help us create our amazing applications. I am talking about integrated development environment. Besides that, according to our agenda for today, we will learn what are most popular IDE for development of Java based applications. We will download Eclipse and we will learn how to configure it. So what is integrated development environment? IDE is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. An IDE normally consists of at least a source code editor, build automation tools and a debugger. Some IDEs such as NetBeans and Eclipse contain the necessary compiler. Integrated development environments are designed to maximize programmer productivity. Reducing setup time can increase developer productivity especially in cases where learning to use the IDE is faster than manually integrating and learning all of the individual tools. The most popular IDEs for Java development are Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, NetBeans and Android Studio for Android projects. I've worked a lot with each of these. To be honest, I can conclude that they are similar. The only difference is the way how to configure your project. The same buttons located in different places. That would be my short answer. But still, my preferable option would be Eclipse for Java Enterprise Edition developers. Why? There are a few reasons. Some of them. It is completely free of charge. The same as NetBeans. You can find that IDEA Community version is also free of charge. But later during the course you will notice that in Community Edition there is a lack of support of Java Enterprise Edition. And you would need either to buy licensed version of IDEA, so called Ultimate Edition, or looking for some workarounds. If you are a student, you can get Ultimate Edition license free of charge, but again, it's free only for educational purposes, but not for commercial use. In many companies, Eclipse is a standard software package for Java software engineers, because it's powerful for creation of any kind of applications and it's free. Huge community. In the internet you will find a lot of support how to deal with different configuration issues in case you will have them in your project while working with Eclipse. You can easily extend your IDE with extensions and plugins. For example, you can add plugin which will check your code style, you can add plugin to test your test code coverage, you can add plugin which will allow you to style icons, background and fonts in the Eclipse and much more. Eclipse has tools to work with Java for Enterprise. This will come in handy later in this training program. Now let's together download and install Eclipse on your computer. We will configure your workspace and will create Hello World Java project in Eclipse. And you will see how IDE makes our life easier. Let's make a Google search like this. Eclipse for Java EE developers download. Click on the first link. Here is warning message which tell us that this is not the latest package. Let's take a look at the newest version. And here it is. Download archive for Windows, Linux or Mac. Press download button. When we have downloaded Eclipse, extract all files wherever you want on your computer. Now start Eclipse. When you start Eclipse you are asked to indicate a workspace directory. The workspace is a directory on the disk where the Eclipse platform and all the installed plugins store preferences, configurations and temporary information. Subsequent Eclipse invocations will use the storage to restore the previous state. Each time you start Eclipse you can create a new workspace directory or indicate an existing one. You can create many workspaces, each one dedicated to some activity. For example, I want to create workspace dedicated to this training course here. Let me call it Learn IT Fundamentals. Let's press launch button now. Let's make it full screen. Here is welcome page. Let's navigate directly to the workbench. Just press here. And here is your workspace. It comprises different widgets and views. You can configure your workspace as you wish. You can move all these widgets anywhere. Let's leave it here. Here you can choose your perspective. 
An Eclipse perspective is the name given to an initial collection and arrangements of views and an editor area. For example, take a look how current perspective is look like. Let's also press File, New. Can you see this list? It contains Maven project, Dynamic Web project, EGB project, etc. Now let's open another perspective. Let's open not Java Enterprise Edition, but Java Perspective. Here it is. Open. You see that the set of widgets is different now. Let's open again File, New. And here we see different list with Java project on top of it. In Eclipse you have multiple perspective and you can switch between them easily here. You have separate perspective for debugging, for database development, etc. Here is your project explorer view. Here you will find hierarchical representation of your projects and source code. In case you lost some view or would like to open a new one, just press window, show view, other. Here you can find all available views which you can add to your workspace. Now let's create our Hello World Java project. You can click either here or go to File, New, Java project. Let's go over project configurations here. Type any project name you would like. I will type Learn IT Fundamentals. Which Java runtime environment you would like to use? You can select one of the predefined options in Eclipse. I would select the one GRE which already installed on my computer. We can click Finish, but for the sake of the interest, let's click Next to learn what other configurations available for us. Here you can see many other configurations. For example, SRC would be considered as your source folder. A source folder is a path which is marked by Eclipse as containing Java sources which are needed to be compiled. You can also see that you can configure default output folder where all files with class extension will be stored. In the Libraries tab you can add additional external libraries, but we don't need them now. We will cover this part of configuration deeper later in this course. Let's just click Finish now. Eclipse will ask us how we want to name our module. Java Modules is a new feature which we presented first time in Java 9 we have the Java Platform Module System. A Java module is a mechanism to package up your Java application and Java packages into Java modules. A Java module can specify which of Java packages it contains that should be visible to other Java modules using this module. But with respect to our agenda for today, I suggest to come back to modules a bit later. Just click Don't Create. Your project is created now. And you remember that you need to create a class. So let's create it now. Let's expand your project. Do mouse right click on the SRC source folder. New. Class. Name of the class. Hello world. It has public modifier. Object is always super class of each type in Java. We'll discuss this on OOP topic. We can also create a stab of the main method. Just check this checkbox. And the last but not the least configuration, package name. Package in Java is a mechanism to encapsulate a group of classes, sub packages and interfaces. Packages are used for preventing naming conflicts. Potentially your application might have user class. And the library which you are using in your application might also contain user class. How we can say that your user and user from external library are different classes. And we need to use user from external library. The full name of the class consists of package name plus class name. For example, com dot berg hello world will be one class. Com dot google hello world will be completely different class. That's why for the package names reverse order of domain name is used. Why domain name? Because it's unique. Also packages are used for making, searching, locating and usage of classes, interfaces, enumerations and annotations easier. Later we will learn that we can restrict access from different packages to the classes inside other packages. Let's create package following with this pattern. com, itbools and your last name. And press finish button. 
you see package declaration goes on top of the file here. During the course we'll learn with you hotkeys. For example, Ctrl plus D will delete the line. Let's press Ctrl plus D to remove this single line to do comment. Eclipse has auto-suggestion support. What is auto-suggestion? Let's start typing here system. C. Press Ctrl plus space. Now you see this drop-down list. Eclipse is trying to guess what you would like to type here. Select type which you need from the list. Press enter. Type dot. And again, out of suggestion. I will go with out here. Press enter. Dot. Start typing print. And here is our method. Let's write string literal here. Hello world. Asterisk near the file name means the file is not saved. Press Ctrl plus S to save the file. You can run your program in different ways. First option for you is mouse right click, run as, Java application. The second option is to find this icon here, and again, run as, Java application. And the third option is hotkey, Ctrl plus F11. Let's run our program now. And here we have output. Hello world. Congratulations. One more trick. For system out you can use something like this. Just type sys out and press Ctrl plus space. You'll get system out print land. And now let's recap what we have learned today. After this lesson we know what is integrated development environment, what are most popular IDEs for Java development, how to configure Eclipse on your computer. You learned the concept of packages and created your first project in Eclipse. And now your homework. Download IDE. You can choose whatever IDE you wish. Install it on your computer and create Hello World project in your IDE.